Good afternoon. This is the last presentation. We're coming to an end. I think for those that stayed until the end, I know that many of you have things to do. I know these amount of presentations can be overwhelming, but I believe that I have something to add in this presentation. I am Leonardo. I work for GlobeNet. And this is an enterprise that has exchanged infrastructure for international IXs and for the United States, Colombia, Venezuela, going through the Bermudas, as, uh, and as Adriano mentioned earlier in his presentation. Here we would like to show our main partnerships that we have with the Internet Exchange that is links London, Amsterdam, D6, Frankfurt, New York, New York, X. And the main thing that I wanted to point out, I don't know if everybody has the same view when we talk about the importance of IP transit. This was mentioned today, and exchange of traffic and transit competes. No, there's no competition. Each enterprise has its own strategy. And what does this mean? Because the strategy is something that is not right or wrong. You have the strategy that works out for some and doesn't work out for some. Perhaps this is the most important point. This is why I will talk about traffic exchange. That is the content that I will present here. Earlier, they, people asked, what kind of content do we have abroad that is still not available in Brazil? Although, or you could look for it outside in these exchanges. These, this is an analysis, a recent analysis and those that are highlighted are the ones that are evident, the Apple content. Many people today have Apple devices that are personal and use cloud-based services from Apple. Some of this is in a CD and provider that puts the CDNs in a number of carriers in Brazil, but a lot of it is in, in in other countries, Limelight, OVH services as well, that offers virtualizations in on the cloud. Hetzner, that has its base in Germany, to bring this content to Brazil or to the South American region is not very easy because physically it's in servers in these places. So what we do today is we provide direct connectivity or the shortest connection in order for you to reach this content. I also, Digital Ocean, Dropbox, and we have seen how sensitive IPTV content is. There are a number of IPTV services, and there are details regarding the regulation, and these are being provided abroad. And users in Brazil use these service game content. We see this, the situation of game arenas. Many times you have an AS that is a major supplier of games that is present in Brazil, but it also is present abroad, and it has certain arenas for this game to play that are not hosted in Brazil, or that the user of the solution prefer to use the solution outside or the arena abroad. Now, this depends on the service user. And the better the connectivity, the more direct is this connectivity, the user experience tends to be better. And this is what favors the direct connections to the exchange traffic points. Now, very important points that we have to highlight. I already said that by and large, uh, a direct connection offers less latency. As we're talking about a direct uh, connection, you don't go through a number of routers or you don't have to. You have a connection that is an L2, a layer 2, although it's a VPN L2, you have a direct connection that will result in a real connection of less latency, you always should test this. I like the, the past presentation where the test was done before and after the solution. Very few saw the figures. It's excellent to have an analysis, but this was based on figures. And 
he they made the analysis and this is what we recommend for those that use the solution it's not just because you have an ix that you will have better performance or lower latency in ax you can benefit yourself if there is lower latency so yes you can test and if this makes sense you maintain it otherwise you give up you have this flexibility of this uh, opportunity of traffic engineering there is also something that is interesting many providers uh, with the vegetative growth they grow they become more robust they initiate operations in other cities their infrastructure grows and they offer content to providers in this places so this is a new level of service they don't only offer services to the end customers but they offer transit to colleagues from the same region this provider is no longer an isp and it becomes a regional operator for a regional carrier to compete with the other carriers, they have to have a differential. A direct connection to IX could give you this because direct connectivity to content allows this regional carrier to have a, a lower ASPF, so we will have less traffic here, and they can deliver a service that the end customer, that is the ISP from the same region, they have an ISPF shorter from this carrier, and more traffic can come through this carrier. So. Here you have the feeling that the service that comes from this carrier is of good quality. There are a number of systems in internet that analyze the comparison amongst carriers. They are IS ratings or also AS ranking. There are tools like Kaida, like Curator, RIPE has a very good tool, Renesis project. All these tools help you to uh, help you to pull out of the disc minimum discussion of value. All of you that have transit to customers that are ISPs, you can compete with your offer presenting what? Hey, I have my link that has a next value, unlike carrier that is a competitor who that has a link of a Y value. Just competing per value doesn't make sense, but if you have something to show, like a chart or like a ranking, a comparative analysis, all of this helps you to position yourself and to stop talking about price. You will talk about something else. This is a presentation that is available at Renesis site. And here I have the globe net chart, but any carrier can create their chart and show how it appears in the world because this gives an idea how interconnected you are. This is dynamic, okay? You're in the center and each one of these little squares is an AS. But how does this work actually? It's not in cascade. They're directly computed. The ones that are in the middle with the intense color are the ones that have more prefixes or more exchanges. And the ones that are more toward the edge with lighter colors are the ones that have less exchanges. Now, by and large, this can help your carrier this can help you to choose your your next exchange carrier and you can see how inter how interconnected this this carrier is uh, connected and to see if this will revert to benefits in your business another point would be that was even mentioned here we have bidding processes the government and all the institutions need criteria to choose what companies will provide services. One of the common criteria in a number of institutions being education, health, administrations, they want the carriers to have an international link. There is a context of merit if they need or not, if they really need it or not, but to meet one of these requirements, you have to be connected and to prove that you are using an international connection. So here you are connected to an IX, in addition to accrediting you. And Wesley, Wesley mentioned this. It is not an option for all, for all the providers. International IX connection 
needs a great deal of dedication. You need analysis. You need a team. But mainly, you need to go up to a new level of service. You are no longer supplying residential access. Now you're going to become a regional carrier. So you do need to be at a new level. And now you become a carrier of international presence. Here you must use Peering DB as a tool to search your partners and also and perhaps this is the last slide that I wanted to show. This is not a solution that fits everything. It's not with a wrench that you're going to hit on a nail. Here you need an alter this is an alternative that will provide you a benefit within something that does make sense to you. So many carriers have chosen this option. They want direct exchange in order to obtain more benefits. I have more slides, but I've run out of time. And my presentation is at your disposal. We have time for a question or for questions. And actually, they, they did a great job in the past uh, as I was their customer. So thank you for that and great presentation as well. Um, two questions, actually. One, with Renesis, is it okay if I speak? Uh, go ahead, go ahead, please. Is that okay? I mean, I can speak Spanish too, but so um, what do you guys are using Renesis for? Uh, is that to compare your ranking amongst other ISPs in the region? internationally by, by country or just like an overview of uh, performance? I'm going to answer in Portuguese. I presented the Renesis chart. I presented it just to show you that this gives you can you understand me? Can you listen to me? Okay, I presented the Renesis chart just to give you an overall. You know, it's something easy to see because sometimes when you're when you're talking to a customer, you have to bring things down to earth, something that is tangible, something that is visible for them. So here we presented Renesis, not really for the analysis for 1x where Globonet has present. Here we demonstrate, for instance, the backbone and how interconnected our backbone is. I don't know if I answered your question. This is why I just showed this picture. Wow, that was one of the good ones. Um, so the second thing, uh, can you please share your make your KMZs available uh, or as detailed as you want, detailed enough for people to have visibility so they get to know more about your network and network atlas. I don't know if you saw my presentation, but I also wanted to ask for that. Okay. Uh, a apresentação ela era um pouco mais extensa. The presentation was bigger. I had more items to show you, like announcement recommendations and learnings, but I ran out of time, so I really didn't want to interrupt me because I didn't want to delay, you know, your participation, but my presentation is available to you. There are additional recommendations. What would be better, worse? What is the better practice of uh, announcement and learnings regarding the pre prefixes?